Welcome everybody, my name is Paul Quinton and I'm a spiritual teacher and healer and also a life purpose expert and I've been working in this field for about 18 years um, and grew up in a, in a family for psychics and healers um, so from a very young age I was um, open up to the spirit world shall we say um, and helping humanity um, is very much my soul path um, and I'm finding that I've been doing a lot more of this work at a deeper level in the last few years. And I've been like working for a therapist for 18 years now. Um, so I sort of came back on to my spiritual path, although I never came off it. I went from my teenage years, um, I was in the military for a while, um, and then I sort of came back uh, into, the, into this, this field um, because I knew it was such a calling and it was something that I needed to do um, and I work a lot with spirit and my work is constantly changing and even the last year it's changed as well and I was actually talking to um, uh, one of the uh, Brotherhood of Light that comes through um, a reader she channels him his name's Min um, and he's told me to do this video on inadequacy um, which is what this is all about um, and I'm going to talk to you in a bit more depth about that in a minute. Um, and it's a big thing because it's something that everyone's suffering with. Um, and it's been there for such a long time. Um, and humanity, a lot of humanity can't even recognise it. And it brings up a low form or a new form, or should we say, of, of depression. And I'm going to get in more into this later. Um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update of what, of what I'm going to be talking about. Um, but coming back to me, um, through my own story and being authentic of my own experience, um, I've, this has allowed me to put more of my workshops and then my one-on-one -on -one teachings together um, in my packages and that I teach people um, how to go from confused to clarity in 90 days and it's very bespoke. Um, so really tailor my work around uh, the individuals, but it's really about getting the person in touch with their soul. Um, so I'm a soul healer. Um, um, so through doing this work, uh, it allows me to bring on more messages that are current for the times, because everything's changing. You know, it's the old paradigm of this this new age movement, should we say, or the integrative medicine or the alternative world, but even that's changing now. Um, and there's a lot of old energy stuck in that old field as well so it's about being dynamic, it's being about current um, and being in the moment um, and the moment now from the, from the spirit world and from the healers of the spirit world and um, you know angelic forces, extraterrestrial forces, uh, the brotherhood of light um, are very much involved at the moment with the polarity that we're stuck in, the third dimensional polarity, um, and we're going to get a bit more into that in a minute. But the, the polarity of, of the, the you know the male and female sides of us, but also the dark and the light side, um, and we want to bring more f less fear, or actually not less fear, should I say, take out all the fear of the dark side, because once you understand it, and you once you understand that it's part of you in this polarity universe. You can love it and it can be resolved because individually we all have to process our dark side. Um, and this is not something that's widely spoken about um, because it's just, you know, there is a, a sort of dogma around it. And also because of, you know, for thousands of years religion has taught us to fear it or um, not, to, not to sort of acknowledge it in, in, in the way that we need to acknowledge it. Uh, excuse me a second. So before we start, I want you to ask yourself, when do you believe joy and spontaneity left your life? And I want you to ponder on that for a minute. And I'm going to ask again as we go through and remind you. Think about it. When did joy and spontaneity, when did that leave you? And if you look at children, they don't have the conditioning that we do as adults. They're free. They're more connected to the spirit world. Everything's done on a whim. There's joy in their hearts. They have the range of emotions where they can cry and then they're happy. And it's that whole spectrum. And what's happened to us as adults as we've come, as we've got older, we've come into this more 
and this is a society I'm saying, into this more sort of dogma, narrow-minded, tunnel vision, um, where all of our experiences, both positive and negative, will create belief systems. Um, and it's the emotional charge and the, 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 the emotions that are left within the experience that, result, uh, that causes our sickness, our disease, our illnesses. But also, it's, it's the point where it, it changes our subconscious. Now, we're all running from, shall we say, old subconscious programs. Um, and this is, this is what's stopping yourself from moving forward at this time because the energy of the planet now is, is such transformation that it, it you can't help but being um, pushed forward because you, you, although you have this uh, contract on a soul level that you come to do this and you're aware of what's going to happen we've lost that information so there's a lot of people out of sync and they're not understanding why things are happening and then you've got the light body symptoms Obviously, we're moving into the fourth dimension, we're transitioning, um, and you're also in two different dimensions at once, especially more people on a more spiritual path. That's why time disappears very quickly, because it doesn't exist anymore, but also because our memories of the third dimensional thinking aren't there anymore. So that's why your memory loss is going, and why you can't remember things, because you are alternating in different dimensions. And that is an even bigger story, because you're in a multi-dimensional being, so you're having many experiences in many other places at once. And this, at the 2000s, you know, the year of the 2000s and beyond, is about accepting extraterrestrial life, accepting the unseen world, which is the spirit, the elementals, um, and all the rest of the universal stuff, and also acknowledging your um, multidimensional selves, because you are existing in many places. And when you understand that, and when you understand that the soul and the spirit are the three, the holy trinity of you, you being physical incarnation, the soul... You're an extension of the soul for physical interaction and experience as the soul is, is broken away from the spirit so the spirit can live and experience through the soul. Now, this takes away the, this whole ascension par paradigm because everyone talks about ascension, but in truth there is nowhere to ascend because you're already ascended on these higher levels. You're just a fragment of yourself here. You're just a fragment. So you, if you exist on these higher planes, you've got, this, you've got your spirit here, which is close to the, so we say, prime creator or, or, or the essence of true life. It breaks down to individual souls, and then these individual souls break them down to, into individual personalities, us. So we're all like feeding information back up to the mothership, which is the soul and the spirit. And it's the same as when something happens. You need to give it 30 seconds instead of reacting with the mind because you want to allow that information to process via the soul so then the soul can go right oh that's how i'm going to deal with this and then it gives you that answer so this is about being in alignment with yourself okay so you've got the spirit the soul your physical incarnation but in order to do that we need to remove the inadequacy okay so the inadequacy is the point of reference that it, it, it's been so ingrained in us for such a long time. And the politicians and, uh, and the religious leaders did a very good job because they taught, taught us that we were less, that we are a sinner of God, that we are less than nothing, and that we have to earn our way back. And this is an absolute lie, an absolute lie. It's the same as some religions teach you to fear evil men because it, it feeds an old paradigm, it feeds an agenda. Um, so you are unique, you are magnificent and light okay um, and inadequacy is the lack of joy and spontaneity and it is the war between you and your soul and because it's been so ingrained for so long and because we believe the judgment of others and the opinions of others and we harshly judge ourselves this is what keeps the inadequacy in play and because it's been in play for so long, it's actually got itself become an entity of sorts. So you can actually speak to it. It's actually a, a living force within our universe now, or around this planet at least, and many other planets, of course, because they're all having their own experiences. But it's, it's, a, it's a wall around the soul, okay? So this inadequacy has to be spoken to with such love and care and acknowledgement and acceptance 
and knowing that this is your friend, not your enemy, and you don't try and force it or change it or manipulate it in any way, you just give it the space. Because once the inadequacy is given the space, it shows you the way back into your heart, back into your soul. Okay? Now, the soul is why you're here. You are here as your soul contract. So you have to come back to your soul. You cannot run from 1% of your consciousness anymore, which is your mind. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in the sense that the paradigm of the mind is over. We are moving into the heart space. We are moving into the spiritual plane. The fourth dimension is an unseen world where you can't lie and manipulate. Well, you can to some level, but I won't go into all that now because we can read each other's thoughts telepathically and we can see the energetic patterns within the emotional body. So that might be anger, sadness, resentment, whatever, because it is a way of seeing the all, which is basically how the psychic world works, really. You can just see beyond the veil, really. Um, and this is, as you go up the higher planes, you become less physical and more and more psychically aware. You know, this is common knowledge, what I'm saying now, but it's just a good reminder. Um, so this is sometimes, you know, when, you, when the phone rings, you know who it's going to be because it's, it's, it's a, your, everything is connected. Um, and you will have that with your partners as well. You know, you'll be thinking something, and then they'll go and say it 30 seconds later, a minute later. It's because of all that, that, that energy is connected, you know, and this is talking about the third eye and the solar plexus. Okay, so the solar plexus is, is the, where the soul sort of resides. So the mind gift is imagination. It is there to imprint what the soul desires to do within your physical self, okay? So if inadequacy is in play, there's no joy and spontaneity. How can you be free? How can you be living in the heart, you know? And this inadequacy drives us to perfection, okay? It drives us out of the heart. So when you finally let go, you won't have that need to be perfect anymore because you're already perfect. Again, we spend so much time and effort trying to be perfect. And there's a paradigm here that has been so ingrained as well on how we need to be successful that it's burning ourselves out. And when we use the mind, we become very judgmental, we backstab, we attack, we are in fear, we are in doubt, and we judge. And this Unfortunately, and I work a lot with people in the corporate world, high-end people, and even some celebrities, and and that's not. I just want to use that as an example. But the corporate world is is a is a magnificent part of, and it's a perfect example, really, because it is so disconnected from the heart space. It's so mentally operated that you see this this constant attack and and, and judgment going on all the time, and, and that. The taking of your energy, and you know, like they say, it's the soul sucking, and it literally is because it, it drains you. It drains you, and just being in some of those offices sometimes has a mass, such a huge effect on your energy body. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's something that we need to start being aware of. So, if you're working in an office or you're in a sort of corporate environment, you need to start playing the energy games, you need to start looking more, so sort of maybe carrying some crystals, doing some psychic protection, uh, raising your vibration, um, so you're not uh, getting affected by these other players, um, because it's, you, every human being is going through the same thing now. People will avoid it, they will judge it, and they will say, no, it's not happening, but everyone is in a low-grade depression. Most people, and people won't call it depression, <laughs> But it's a new depression that is coming on the planet now. It's already here, and it's formed from inadequacy. Okay, So if you have lack of joy and spontaneity, and you're not in your heart, you are on a low-grade depression. And that's not depressed, you can't get out of bed, suicide thoughts. It means you're just not happy. You know something's wrong, you, but you're suffering in silence. And, you know, even back in the World Wars, there was... There was less depression then than there is now because someone people had something to fight for they had something to achieve to, to to believe in no one's got anything to believe in anymore what do you have to believe in and really think about it what is there that's really tangible that's truthful 
It's nothing you see on the bloody TV and the media and the, and the, the governments. They're all full of shit. It's, it's a lie. It's an old paradigm. And it's, it's something that people are getting sick and tired of. And it always makes me laugh that people can still vote for these politicians and believe that this, this is a reality, that, that's real. I mean, they get visited every day by extraterrestrial races, even spirit form in physical incarnation. Explain everything to them, that this is what you're doing, this is what, you're, you're killing the population, you're killing the planet, and you're, you know, this greed, this ego is destroying everything. And they get told on a day-to-day -day basis, but they ignore it because they're still running from this, from the mind, from the old agenda. You know, and there's many other things here you, we can talk about that's causing that, but we won't get into all that now because I want to talk more about inadequacy. Because inadequacy is within every human being, and it's within, within the dark forces as well, because they are absent of love. Okay, um, and when we work with this, um, and I'm going to be teaching this as well, um, so I'm going to actually be putting the feelers out, and I'm going to be doing some some day workshops to really take people through the soul process through clearing this, through clearing fear and getting into their shadow self and processing this. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's and look, if people are 100% honest with themselves, that they have lack of joy, they have lack of spontaneity, that they know they've hit a brick wall, but they're truthful about it. If everyone does that, the whole energy of the planet would change. So I urge you to be honest with yourself. If you've hit a brick wall, don't try and mask it up with food, alcohol, drugs, because that's what we've been doing for a long time. Admit the truth to yourself, because you're helping humanity as well, you're not help, just helping yourself. You're helping the nature and you're helping the animal kingdom as well, because they all suffer because of us and our, our negativity. Okay, so with that, when we're in play, when we're, we're focused in the heart, we emanate out such a, a, a joy, such a joy that it, you know, it, we don't then compare ourselves, we don't judge ourselves, and we are very comfortable in our own skin, okay? And everyone knows what the bully is like. The bully is angry. They're, they're lonely, you know, and it's, it's the same as, and you have these people in your life all the time, but they feel even more inadequate. You know, they've gone to the point where they have to start bullying where other people just sort of sit in silence. So even the harshest people in your life now, start sending them love. Excuse me. Acknowledge that inadequacy in them as well. Because the more you can see it in your neighbour and your friend, your, your foe, the quicker the light spreads on the planet. Because it's all about grounding the light onto the planet, which is a lot of the light, the light workers and healers are doing. Because once that energy is, is, is grounded, then it, it, it manipulates the cells and the, and the cellular talk. And then obviously, when you're walking down the street and you're talking to people, you know, you're affecting their energy system as well. And the ones that are open for change are going to grab onto that energy and go, right, I've got that. I've been coded now in my, my cells. I can start working with this unconsciously. And the soul is always with the person wanting them to wake up anyway. So they're always looking for these opportunities. So that goes for you as well. The more you ground more light into your body, raise your vibration, know that nothing can harm you unless you believe it can. And this is a true fact, nothing can harm you unless you believe it can. Okay? When you get rid of that fear and that, that, that instinct to be fearful all the time, then you are going to transform almost overnight. And the energies on this planet now are supporting this. You know, supporting it in such a, you know, huge way. It, it, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But you need to recognise the energy game. You need to recognise the entity of inadequacy. You know, the, the, the thing that's causing us to suffer in silence and not speak our truth anymore. Um, and it, everyone is suffering from it. You know, even these, you know, the rich, they, I mean, they're, they're, some of them are even more lost than the poor people because at least the poor people have sort of got a, this sort of day-to-day -day reality where, you know, other people have gone completely off the spectrum where they've had too much money, too much of, of indulgence and it's much harder for them to come back and they've built up these belief systems and, and, and inadequacy even more around them. Um, so my point is that, you know, it doesn't matter who the person is, regardless of where they come from, what they look like, they're all suffering with the same issue, okay? This is on a global scale and it is 
bigger than cancer and it's bigger than any disease or illness on the planet. Okay, the ego mind and its feeding of inadequacy and the lack of spontaneity and joy within the heart centre is plaguing every human being at this moment, or at least 99%. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's beyond, you know. Humanity is stuck in the emotional body. We try and feed it with drugs and food, like I said earlier. We suppress it. We, 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 we create belief systems off certain things and we, we just... We try to dull our feelings. Now, it's a universal truth that when a feeling is felt and observed, and quantum physics explains this quite well, it will transform itself. Because you're all in sync with such a perfect plan of divinity from the higher realm of yourself that everything is in alignment. Everything is being taken care of behind the scenes, but you must surrender. You must surrender to yourself. You must surrender to your soul. You are not able to keep going with your mind because you're hitting a brick wall and you're fed up and fed up. How many people are going around in cycles repeating the same old things? You can't do it anymore. It just doesn't exist. You know, you've got to be 100% honest with yourself. You've got to find the pathway to success within your heart and not your mind. It is not going to take you anywhere any longer. You know, even manifesting, with the old ways of teaching, even 10 years ago, you manifest through the mind, you visualize, you create. You've got to manifest through the heart now. You've got to manifest for the highest good. You've got to know that everything in the, in the universe is part of you, and you're a part of it. And you're just, we're all connected. Um, and everyone has the ability to be well off. And it's only because your belief systems and the societal structure you, you've fallen into that have caused you to believe that you're not, okay? So once this inadequacy goes, you'll see that you are this powerful being of equality and that no one's lower than you and no one's higher than you. And equality is within everyone. You know, when they talk about souls being older souls, older souls are just souls that have had more experiences, they've had more lives, you know? So this is something that you have to bring into yourself. You know, you have to look at it as unconditioning, okay? You're not going to learn anything new. You're not going to, you know, you just remember, okay? So it's the conditioning and it's the love of inadequacy, knowing that it's your friend, not your enemy, because it's not inadequacy that's the problem, it's the belief in inadequacy that's the problem it's your belief in it so when you uncondition and you take away the layers and this is how I work with my clients I peel them back it's almost like the military you know when you go into the military they, they strip you down and rebuild you as a soldier this is the same thing but what we're doing is we're taking away all the fear all the anger all the emotions resentment and then you, as you take those away you start to remember who you really are a being of light of absolute power and magnitude universal and powerful and with such love and joy and even the darkest people have that light still within them because the irony is is that the light controls the dark you know and that's not talked about at all either so when you know that you have nothing to fear okay so if you keep your vibration high and so they they don't even talk about spiritual protection anymore it's all about raising your vibrations so if your vibration is higher then you will not be affected by lower negative energies okay this is a universal truth and if you believe that you won't be affected by power lines, for example, you could go and live under them and never be affected. But then again, I'm not saying go do that because you need to work on your belief systems, but that's the power, okay? Everything is about belief. And it's the same as about cells. Uh, I think Bruce Linton talks about this. I encourage you to read that because it's very interesting. Um, how cells are, are affected by your environment. They're not hereditary in the sense. Yes, there might be a hereditary pattern in there, but you have the ability to change that for your thinking. Okay, so if you're in a negative situation constantly in a, in a bad relationship, you're constantly getting or feel poor me, or you're attacked constantly for being stupid. You know, you believe that belief, uh, you create that belief system in you, and your cells start to adopt that belief system. Then that sets up inadequacy and all kinds of problems and emotional issues. And you know, half the cancer rate comes from these issues, from these problems. You know, it's just it's it's insane. You know, there's so much misinformation out there now, and you really need to 
when you, you know if you go to the doctor a lot or your medications, you really need to sit and and vibrate with these what you're being told and, and feel it in your heart. Don't just blindly go and listen to things anymore. Start taking back your sovereignty. Start taking back your power. Start believing that you are more than less. Okay, you are a universal blessing, and you you must remember that. Excuse me, I need some water. Okay, so I'm just going to tune in to see if there's any more messages from spirit here. Okay, so they're talking about the energy of the father. Okay, so it's the father energy now. Because the feminine energy is so strong and it's coming onto the planet, the father energy is what's needed to balance everything out now in the sense that men have had their hearts shut down for thousands of years ago they were shut down by um shall we say to keep it mainstream you know the, the churches really and and but the forces behind the churches um and that's because this whole war and and the regal empire um which is actually long past we shouldn't even have kings and queens anymore but that's another story um, it could only be done with men because obviously they had more physical um, and the women were never going to shut off to that really because they are they're the nurturers and light bearers of, of this planet um, but to, sh to create the war to create the disharmony and disconnection and to create the arena and don't get me wrong look this was an experience we're all going to have and we all agreed to come here so it's, again it's not bad it just looks bad from a human perspective um, you have to shut down the male heart because if the heart was open, men would not kill each other. Men would not go to war. And men would certainly not be controlled by their minds. Um, so the father energy, is it's very important now. So deal with your father issues, with your own fathers. If you're a father and you've got all these judgments, you don't want to be with your children, you don't want to spend time, you know, all the hassle, you need to look within because you are not vibrating at the right energy. Okay? Because the problem with men and, and the problem with the society and the way it's going is because a massive part of the male figure is not there where it needs to be from the heart so the children are getting the wrong idea the wrong education um, so again this is keeping that loop keeping that cycle going so the male energy needs to be honored and needs to be respected and you need to listen to the and I'm going to I'm going to do another video on this. It's it's um, on the ancestral and your male and female sides from other lives, okay? And you use the left side of the brain, the right side of the brain, and the back of the brain. And these are the these are the three portals where these energies sit. And I'll, I'll I'll talk more about this later. But this is very important because you have to hear because a lot of the chatter in your head is is the is these other beings, these other parts of yourselves, living multidimensional cells right now, but also your ancestors. And the men are screaming because the men have been forced to do things that they didn't want to do. You know, and same as the women. The women are suffering with the loss of men, the loss of their children, the, 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 the rape, the pillage. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're all, we're all suffering in our own right. But at this point, you know, the male energy needs to come in back into balance because it's the steam that's still keeping everything vibrating out of balance. Um, let me just tune in again. It brings us back to men are in fear. Men are in absolute fear because, and it's true because uh, you know I work with some men. I do work with a lot of women as well, but I work with some men. And um, when a man's paradigm is challenged by another man's paradigm, and don't get me wrong, this is females as well, but it's, it's on a mass scale for men because, like I said, females are more in the heart. Um, so I don't want to be biased here or anything. I'm just explaining. Um, that when a paradigm is, is touched, this is when the attack comes in, the backstabbing and the, the nastiness and the, the you know, um, way of, what we do to each other at work and with our friends and our relationships. Because if you, if you knock that paradigm just slightly, fear just fades, pours in. Because fear is what envelopes anyway. 
Okay, we feel we need to backstab, we need to be controlling, we need to do these certain things this certain way to get A, B and C, but it's not true because when you're in your heart, you can manifest everything to you without the search and struggle. And I actually teach that with my clients because, excuse me, so many people run out there going, I need to do this. This comes back to the perfection thing I was talking about. If I don't do this, don't do that, I'm not going to get this, which is an absolute load of rubbish because if you, a spiritual warrior upholds the truth. A spiritual warrior stands still and magnetizes everything to them without moving, without overthinking. The thought that comes into the mind is from the soul. Right, I need to go left, I need to go right. That's what the mind is there for. It's a tool. It's not there to judge, uh, control you or judge you. Okay, and this is where humanity has gone wrong. The ego mind has been allowed to run free. Um, and this is why men are suffering so much now. Uh, why men are having these midlife crisis. You know, they're, they're running off for younger women. They start doing cocaine again and when they're 50. You know, all of the stuff, they're buying things or, or, or they just hit a brick wall and don't know how to go. They don't know how to communicate with the children. They don't know how to communicate with their wives because they don't have a clue what's going on. They have no clue why they're here. Um, they've been taught by society that this is the way, this is what you need to do, and this is how you get it. But it's a load of rubbish. And we just all just follow that ridiculous paradigm without even thinking within ourselves and what we really need. Um, so, big love out to all the men, and I'm going to be doing more work for men um, to bring them over to this heart self. Um, this is all going to be coming up and I'm going to be doing more work on that later and I'm just getting a message from Spirit now that I need to get, get on with that as well so that's really good um, let me just go in and check a little bit more see what else they say they like to use it and I actually learnt this when I did my Theta Healing training the, the Youth and Christ uh, Vitality Chromosome and they're saying that when you let go of this energy and this goes for male and females as well when you let go of the inadequacy and you let go of the fear and everything else that's come around, surrounded with it, your, your, your youth is going to come back. And it's not just going to come back in your physical appearance, it's going to come back with the inner child. You're going to start feeling that joy and you're going to muck around again. And I urge you, with absolute urgency, to start mucking around again. Start being a kid again. Start letting that energy flow. Because I think, I mean, I've never read the Bible, but I think someone actually told me that... Um, let me say this right, that, I don't know, apparently Jesus said at some stage that um, when you go back, back into heaven, um, you have to become a child again. It's like you can't enter the gates without being a child again, or something like that. Um, so that is why you have to get in touch with that. You can't become this critical, judgmental person. And that's why grandparents have such a second chance. Do you notice how your parents were with you and how they are with your children? They're completely different because the grandparents have the children to remind them to be young again. But it's also their second chance of becoming more youthful to letting go of their judgments and their maybe their abuse of you as the as the child, um, emotionally, mentally, whatever. But you know to work out their issues. So we're always given that other chance, and there's always a child, generally, in an old person's life to give them that back of that experience and to remind them. So, you know, everything has a higher meaning and we need to start taking our, 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 our thinking out of this, this, this mundane, narrow-minded, low vibrational uh, thinking um, because it's like when something negative happens to you, there's always a positive to it. It's either you're projecting it because everything that happens in yourself, right, everything that happens in your life is a projection of your inside world. So you can never judge or blame at the end of the day because you're creating it. And it's the same as that you're responsible for every person in your life, regardless if you'd hardly know them or just an acquaintance, male or female, friend or foe, you're responsible for them because they are in your life for some reason. They are part of your soul contract to teach you something. Do you see what I mean? So when something bad happens, or bad, you need to go, instead of reacting to it and forming judgmental or, or reacting from past life experience, uh, other life, sorry, past life or this life experiences, you need to sort of sit with the soul and say, why did that happen? Intuitively, you already know anyway, so you need to connect in. Because there's great, great chance for growth and breaking the cycle that you keep repeating in those moments. It's fantastic. 
you know I had a, a client the other day and um, this is a great example um, she believed her boyfriend she just got with was was cheating on her because he was still talking to his ex but he was um, with these children uh, she, she had some children basically so he, he was emotionally connected to her um, and I'd met the guy and he, I energetically checked him out and he was okay but because he was talking to him and he, and he because he, he didn't want to, I suppose, leave the children so much because obviously he's, he'd grown up 10 years with these children and, it, you know, he had a heart connection with them, so something you can just leave if you're a good person. So there was a little bit of an interaction. And sometimes when that happens, you've got a new girlfriend, you don't want to say something. It's, again, I can understand where he's coming from, but you always, this is the point where you all need to be, communicate properly and just be honest because honesty is the best quality at the end of the day. Um, and, it, and it creates, but then again, which I'll, finished to explain the story and I'll, uh, I'll explain that but he was obviously there was text messages coming through and um, he, he said something to her that oh, no, I'm still talking to her or whatever and this of course brought all of this jealousy up she, anger and and all of her past life stuff this life all coming to the surface all coming to the surface um, you know she was furious like she was going to punch something you know um, so her whole mental, her whole attitude was, right, is he cheating on me? He's cheating on me. Right, I need to find out. Asking questions, asking the cards, talking to psychics. Right, what's happening? What's he doing? Instead of acknowledging that if the gift was such a gift he'd given her, because he wasn't cheating on her, that without him doing those behaviours, she would never have been able to bring up that feeling never been able to deal with it and acknowledge it it would have stayed suppressed you have to have something to elicit your issues so they were always going to be perceived most of the time as a negative because they're pushing your buttons you understand what i'm saying so if something's happening like that in your life then acknowledge it thank the person that you perceive to be bad because without their attitude regardless they might have been bad, but it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. You know, you can just discard that. Thank you, move on. You're not in my life anymore. This instance, he can still stay in the life because obviously he's showing on it's not a bad situation. So you've always got to weigh it up, have discernment. But my point is, is that if he hadn't done that, she would never have felt it. She'd still be sitting with that. And that could have erupted later on in, in, a, in a time when it, it shouldn't have done, you know? And because she's on the healing path, this was perfect. So I had to, and it takes time to get the person thinking at the higher level than to stop thinking down here. So you've always got to ask yourself, what is the real reason here? Okay? Always know that it's something to do with you. So you're solely responsible for it, regardless. Even if someone steals from you, you're responsible for it because you have put that energy out to be stolen from. So again, make sure you check in with yourself. Make sure you do some inner work because until you do, you're not going to know the magnificence that you are because you are stuck in this box. This is a box. This behind me is an illusion. The physical world, it's an illusion. It's here only so you can play out your drama, learn your lessons and have experiences. It's the matrix. Why do you think the matrix was made? It was to remind us that we are here. The Gene Roddenberry in the 70s created Star Trek. Why? To put into our consciousness that we come from extraterrestrials. We come from a universal collective, an intergalactic family. George Lucas did the same thing. The Orion constellation, the Orion constellation, Star Wars was uh, made from that constellation because of the battling. There's such extreme polarities in that constellation. Um, so the Orion conflicts, the actual wars that went on there, was the Star Wars, which is the movie. It was highly intuitive. He channeled it all through. So all of these things are here now to remind us um, and to help us remember. Because our, our star heritage, shall we say, was taken out of our um, DNA a long time ago when our strands were shot down from 12 to 2 strands. You know, some, I don't want to get into all the DNA now, but... It's only the third strand that's starting to join now. There's not many people on the planet that even have the fourth and fifth uh, connected. Um, so as that third strand is starting to join, 
that is the again that's the, the holy trinity coming in i spoke about your spirit your soul and your physical being um, and it allows once that third I mean, the strand is connected um, we start to remember our, um, our ancestral our ancestral star ancestral life because um, we are all created uh, th through yeah through shall we just say from from other galaxies we, we you know the human is, is an experiment just like many of the other races um, again you know that's not knowledge you really need to know now but if you want to do it get into it because there's so much stuff out there that can take you off path you know I know people that read 20 books and still don't find themselves because all spirit want you to do right now is to yes there might be something you need to read or just draw what in what you need not too much excess stay in the moment stay present with your feelings and know that nothing um, is going to come out of place if you're being honest with yourself everything will just open up your whole pathway will open up okay it's going to it's going to give you the confidence to go and get the new job ask for the pay rise get out of that bad relationship talk to your children that you haven't spoken to express your feelings you know get rid of the grudges and the resentments and, and it's going to it's going to empower you beyond your imagination your mind hasn't got a clue what's going to happen so all it's going to do is project fear i can't do this i can't do that i don't know I, I can't touch my feelings oh no no i'm too scared i'm too scared we all go through that we're all suffering with that because that's the mind the mind has an agenda of its own the mind has been made up of all your belief systems society's belief systems hereditary belief systems because they haven't been acknowledged by your influence from your surroundings and all of your own fears that you've brought in so it's, it's a whole mess, really. It's a mess. But it's not who you are. And you have to remember now that you are more. It's all inside you. Like I said, you just peel back the layers. You don't learn anything new. Which might point back to ascension. If you are already vibrating at these higher realms, how can you ascend anywhere? You can't, because you're already ascended. You just let go of the 3D paradigm. You let go of the mind. Just know that you are here to deal with your mind right now. That's all. Remove the inadequacy, get the mind back into its place, which is a tool for the soul. It's gift is imagination, it's there to project from the soul what you need to do, and that's it. It's not there to really take you around, to, you know, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. And you have to listen to your feelings. You have to listen to your feelings. And again, coming back to the male thing, men have been told not to listen to their feelings. Don't listen to your feelings. If you cry or you get in contact with that, then you know you're a, you're a you're a girl, or you know it's just not the way things are done. And that that has been the worst curse on this planet, and it's disgusting. And it's got to stop now because cry, let it all out, get emotional, feel yourself again, start allowing the heart to open. You know, don't suffer in silence. Start communicating. Stop driving for perfection because it's your mind. You know, you're, and get out of the emotional body because it's, it's something that's, you know, the entity of inadequacy is, is so, so strong and so polarised um, that w without the acknowledgement of it, without the tenderness, the, the gratitude, the absolute acceptance of it, um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach this, so I'm going to bring this to, um, I'm going to start putting this into workshops. Um, so don't worry, um, you know, I'm going to give you all this. So this is just a video just to just to get you aware, get you a little bit more on path with who you are, where we need to go. Um, understand that we are a spiritual community now and, and we need to start, like I said at the beginning, joining hands in, 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 in a sense where we are spreading more light. Um, just the, what you're resonating with your thoughts and with your DNA and your cells um, it's, it's enough to start affecting change massively within your neighbourhoods and your homes and, and everywhere else, your workforces. And cells talk to cells, and they've done many experiments. Um, it's the same with water. Um, there's a great experiment done in, um, I think it was two new universities in America, where they took some cells out of the body, put them into a Petri dish, took the, the Petri dish to like a university hundreds of miles away, did something to the person, 
some experiment and the, to change the cell, and then the cells in the petri dish change as well. So say no more. Everything's connected. Everything is not what it seems. Whatever they taught you, do the opposite, basically. Okay. Now, when cells talk to cells like that, when cells are manipulated, so your thinking now needs to start changing. You need to start thinking. So if you always think I'm no good, you need to say the word nullify. Nullify is a universal word that cancels out the energy of the word, okay? And the, and the projection that that word has put out. Because the thoughts create reality, don't forget. What you think is what you create. So, if you're constantly saying that, you're creating a force field of I'm no good. So it's, it's so hard to get out of. You know, eventually it's so big, you can't even get out of it. And that's why people get depressed and stuck. So, your thinking is so important. So, when you're talking... Um, and communicating and vibrating at a different rate, that cells are, are emanating all of that energy. And you become like a light being. So everyone, people come up to you and they will go, wow, you look amazing, you look different. There's something different about you because you're vibrating the heart center. Everything is changeable. That's why shapeshifters can work and change things. Nothing is set. Everything's moving. Everything physical is moving, just like the atom. Everything's spinning. Nothing still. And you have to get back into that fluidity. Fluidity is the key here because when you think solid, you stay solid. You know, and you are not a solid being. You are a spiritual being having a physical experience, not the other way around. Okay? Always remember that. This is an illusion. It's not the real you. Okay? You are just here for a smidgen of time. Alright? At one time. So just Stick to the basics. Come back to the basics. Who am I? What is my soul path? What are the fears I need to let go of? And what's blocking me from living a life on purpose? Get on purpose. Stop living in a reality that doesn't serve you. You know it's depressing. You know deep down it's not joyful or spontaneous. The spontaneity is not there. You, you know, don't lie to yourself anymore. Don't feel that by speaking out and becoming the true you that people are going to suppress you. Because what will happen is that you'll draw the right people to you anyway that will support the bad people in your life. You'll get rid of them. And start clearing out the clutter. Clear out your homes of clutter. Clear out your friends. Even your family members that don't serve you any longer. Don't, don't resonate with them anymore. Don't, you don't need to talk to them. No one in the spiritual world says that you have to um, have, a, have a, a physical interaction with your parents, with your family, with, with other people that you believe you should. It's, a, 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 again, another lie. All right? It's become independent. Become the person you're meant to be. When you're vibrating and you're resonating your truth, like-minded people will come to you and it'll be a spiritual community and you'll have so much more joy and, and, and so much more equality in your relationships. And that is there for you right now. And don't your mind's going to say, no, that's no, not possible, I'm stuck here. Again, that's your mind. Because the energies are supporting this transformation now. 10, 15 years ago, this wouldn't have been possible. Even five years ago. All right? This is possible now, in the moment. Like I said at the beginning of this video, what I'm going to be talking about is current stuff. I'm getting it from spirit straight away. So it's, it's what the planet needs at the time. It's what you need as an individual right now. All right, so don't be fooled by anything else. Don't get stuck in the old paradigms of manifesting from the head, you know, thinking I need to ascend, I need to do a thousand courses and all that. Just sit with your feelings. Everything will be revealed to you. All right? Human, the spirit world creator knows what we're going through right now. We've never gone through a dimensional shift while we've still been alive. Not the last one was... Atlanta 13,000 years ago when the great flood came then we dropped down the consciousness so we had to restart again back with stone and wood and you know we're still there that stage now to really we're highly unevolved now it here really I mean we're still in barbaric times but you know at least we're moving into a, an age of light again um, so there's a lot more support here now there's a lot more help from the spirit world because they know the fear that everyone's in they know the polarity and you're being forced, almost, I shouldn't use the word forced, but where you are really, because 
the people that are staying stagnant are going to be removed off the planet. And that's why the cancer rates are high now, because people are dying, because they are refusing to accept the new energies. And that's why a lot of people are passing over. So even these natural disasters, they're the same. Everything happens for a higher reason. Don't ever forget that. You know? um, and, and just always know that everything happens for, for a positive reason, deep, deep down. Okay. Um, you have a soul contract. You know, make sure you start opening up to it. All right. Start asking questions of yourself. What is blocking me? You know, um, what are the things in my life that no longer serve me? You know, just get a list if you need. Write it down. You know, stop comparing yourself to others. Stop judging yourself. Stop listening to the opinions of others. You have the ability to to transform yourself absolutely transform yourself and for some reason the voice kids has been on and that just came into my mind look at the amazing energy of these children look at their voices can you see the old souls in some of their voices and none of them are nervous really compared adults when you watch the adults they're a lot more nervous than the children because like I said to you at the beginning the children are still connected to the spirit world they don't have all that conditioning so as I said I'm going to ask you again when was the last time in your life, when was the time when you stopped having joy and spontaneity? But real joy, real spontaneity. I bet you it was a long time ago. So you need to reset and have a look back at that time. You know, and this is what I'll be doing on the course. We'll go back and we'll do some inner child stuff with this. And, um, and the great thing is when I do the work, the spirit are in the room with us and we get an awful lot of healing and realization that the, the, the workshops are amazing. Um, I'm going to be bringing some stuff up to Manchester as well soon, uh, where I believe this video is going, because I've been told to connect with Manchester, which is why I'm doing this video. Um, so you're probably watching that now. Uh, but yeah, this video is for you guys. Um, don't suffer in silence anymore. You know, be 100% honest with yourself. Um, your pathway to success is not in your head, it's in your heart. Okay? And don't believe for one moment that you can't change anything because you can, because you can, um, and don't forget you can't take all the physical stuff with you, alright, don't get caught in the illusion, you can have, have a good life, you know, you deserve it, you deserve money, you deserve to eat organic food, you deserve to have nice clothes, you deserve to go on holiday uh, and drive a nice car and live with, around nice people, that should be your bare minimum of what you're thinking about, bare minimum, okay, then you should be thinking about your meditation, talking to spirit, talking to what, helping humanity, helping the world. You know, get on that path, even if you're stuck in a corporate job or a dead end job at the moment, you can start changing how you feel there. You can start changing the energy of the workplace as well by emanating what I was talking about with the cell. You have the ability, if you listen and you're ready, to transform everyone around you. And that is the power of belief, that's the power of the heart and the soul. Okay, don't live in inadequacy anymore. Don't let this entity control you. Don't let it be a force that um, will, will will hold you in a in a paradigm of fear and stagnation that that it, it suppresses you in such a way that, that you know you're not living. Don't don't feel that you have the ability. Just baby steps. Just start with little baby steps. Start working through certain things you know and then allow the process just to come forward all right whenever you work with a feeling you get angry give it the love accept it don't force it don't change it pour love and light into it ask it why it's there what's the belief system underneath it where maybe did this anger really start because it's not because someone just cut me up on the road or someone hit my shop chop and trolley it comes from a deep deeper place so in the moment is the most powerful. Become an observer of your actions. Become an observer of your thoughts. Because only when you create a third party and you distance yourself can you heal yourself. And even mainstream psychology and psychiatry talks about that. Uh, and it's a universal fact. If you stay on the hamster wheel, you're never going to break the cycle. So you've got to start thinking about how you react and the different ways that you want to do things. All right. Um, so yeah, let me just tune in see if there's any more from Spirit.
They just want you to just trust in your ability to let go because your mind is going to tell you you can't. Trust that you can. Trust comes from saying to the mind, no, I'm trying something new. I love you, mind, but you are a tool for me. You're not my controller. All right? Because you can do it. You just need to feel it. All right? And I'll get more into this when we do the workshops. Um, and we'll talk more about this and we'll really get in and we can ask, you can ask some questions and we can get interactive, share our experiences um, because we all have a story um, and we all have something to tell each other and help each other with so you know, let, let's become that community again and, and become that strength um, and let's ground that light here so, so we can transform this planet the way it was meant to be with absolute love. And I want you all to send love now into Guy and to Mother Earth, she's in need of much healing. Um, so I want to thank Spirit for being with us today um, and passing on the messages. So I hope to see you all soon and um, yeah, we'll talk more um, and I'll uh, be putting some more workshops together uh, to help you with all of this. Okay, love and light guys, thank you.